Sharaf Zaidi in Islamabad. He's a political analyst and columnist. Thank you so much for your time. Firstly, uh, let's have a listen to a little of what the judge has had to say about the ISI. Uh, apologies, apologies there. We don't seem to have an uh, audio of that grab, but let, let's go now to our guest. I, I'd like to ask you about these judges' quite serious allegations. Uh, firstly, do you think there's any validity or basis to them? There's been a lot of talk about the Pakistani security establishment having uh, taken, taken, um, taken the war to the Sharif uh, family, particularly to Nawaz Sharif, uh, not just uh, recently or having anything to do necessarily just with the corruption allegations that emanated from the Panama Papers, but uh, substantially uh, prior to that, when uh, the government and the security establishment seem to have begun to uh, have fallen out so it's entirely possible that uh, there are people within the security establishment that have sought to influence uh, the judiciary, the media, and the, uh, the rest of the country. Uh, in fact, it's more than likely that that's what's happened. I think the allegations suggest that there is a formal structure to these, uh, to these efforts and that those efforts have been successful. And I think those are much more serious allegations. And I think that today's announcement that the army has requested the Supreme Court to investigate these allegations is, uh, is a good one. It would be wise for the Supreme Court to eschew investigating these allegations itself, given that it itself has been part of the allegations. It's being accused of, uh, of allowing uh, this manipulation, and it would be better if the Supreme Court chooses an independent panel um, of senior, perhaps, parliamentarians or other members of Pakistani civil society to investigate these allegations and get to the bottom of what's actually been going on. Yes, I understand as well that uh, Justice Siddiq is also in the firing line. He could lose his job. Is that the case? Absolutely. Justice Siddiq has been a controversial judge. He's widely known to have very strong anti-minority views. He's a uh, for many Pakistani uh, pluralists, uh, people that see Pakistan in the same vision as our, uh, as Atta Pakistan, as our, as our founder, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, our Qaid Azam, uh, people see him as a, as a dark stain on that legacy because he is uh, very much in favor of, uh, of really hunting down minorities and making it very uncomfortable for them to live in this country. And he's also been accused of corruption in a reference that's been filed at the Supreme Judicial Council. So this is not a judge that uh, himself is free of controversy. And many people see these allegations as part of a wider strategy by the judge to ensure uh, that as he goes down, he takes down those that uh, seem to have been tormenting him. OK, uh, we will have to leave it there. But Musharraf Zaidi, thank you for those insights from Pakistan.